Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sean Green Show. With Sean Green, how are you doing on this, on this, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Thursday day? Hey, football tonight. Can't wait. But first, makes you wonder. I want to talk about something first. This right here. I'm not surprised, but not because I be mean, here because a lot of teams have been doing this all, so far. So over the past couple of years, all summer, a lot of teams do this basically, including including Patriots do this, and they 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 did it to my state, Connecticut, basically. Um, some of you who don't know, basically, Philadelphia 76ers have been trying to build a new stadium in Philly. They was going to build it in a financial district, in a district over there near, near the financial district, I'm sorry, near the fashion district, I'm sorry, near the fashion district over there near, um, over there near Chinatown. But everybody in Chinatown basically came out and said, no, we don't want stadium here because of traffic, this and that, traffic, the noise, we don't want to, we don't want to, um, a stadium here. They went in groves and protested, basically, and that someone looked like that might have failed. But here, but here's the thing, though. Here comes New Jersey. Jersey, basically, Jersey comes and was like, "Hey, we got all this land over here. Come build a stadium over here. One, your practice city is already in Camden, so you might as well come over here, which which it is. Philadelphia Seventy Sixers street, um, um." When they go to train that base, your training practice that is in Camden, New Jersey. It is. Then, then New Jersey was like, also, you get a four hundred million dollar tax credit to even even more lower, even more lower seventy sixers over to Jersey. Remember what now? Seventy sixers, Philadelphia seventy sixers. Their um, the lease with the city is not up until twenty thirty one, basically. And uh, New Jersey already saying we got this land over here. We can build you a stadium, blah blah blah. By twenty thirty one, basically it'll be already done. Said when lease expires, whatnot with with the city of Philly. And Philadelphia has been trying, basically whatnot with the city of Philadelphia, basically, um, basically to um, get a new stadium, to get a new stadium built over here since since it's receiving a lot of backlash and opposition, basically whatnot from people, basically, um, um, in the fashion district, also in Chinatown, basically. And so far, nothing has come up, and the owners basically have been saying, "Hey, we're running out of time. Basically, um, either eat, run, out, run out of time. Basically, either you do something, or or they're gonna go to, or they're gonna go to Jersey. They're gonna go to Jersey when they hey, hey, go to Jersey. And trust me, Jersey's offer is a hey, is, is 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 enticing. One, one basically what not Philadelphia seventy sixes." Already, already go to Jersey, and whatnot, because the training facilities in Jersey. Two, two. I mean, a four hundred, a four hundred million dollar tax credit. You, I mean, come on. If I'm a business owner, and I'm getting a four hundred million dollar tax credit by by building by building a stadium in Jersey. I'm like, hmm, that's a hey, 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 that's hey, that's enticing. It is, and three. Jersey already has the land already set. They just they, they just just need to go ahead and go ahead and and, and you know, the money basically just go bam and Jersey and the money's there. I mean, hey, I mean I'm not gonna front. I don't want Philadelphia 76ers to have a stadium in New Jersey, even though they'll still be Philadelphia 76ers, but it'll be in New Jersey. I me personally, I don't want that. I don't want that for real. I'd rather see the 76ers be in Philly. I'd rather have Philadelphia 76ers have their stadium basically go. Hey, hey, what up, Wavy? Hey, what up? Hey, what up, Wavy? I'd rather have the 76ers have their stadium in Philly. I really do. I've been to a Philly game. Been to the game. I love. I love. I, hey, hey, I have fun. I have fun out there. Play. I have fun. I have fun out there for real. It would suck if the Philadelphia 76ers have a stadium in Camden, New Jersey. That I mean, I mean, I mean, that would suck. It really would. It really would. But again, I understand basically if understand if the owner decided to move to Camden, New Jersey. Again, that four hundred four hundred million dollar tax credit, man, yo, that that's enticing. I don't care what business you are. If 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 a place is offering you a, a a tax credit, a tax credit, you're gonna take it. I don't care what business you are, point blank, period. If if a state offer you a tax credit, you'd be like, okay, bad, why? You know that's more money in your pocket. For real. Especially but especially with Philly. 
And again, I know, I know, if but Philly fans are basically, I'm gonna say this, are basically the most loyal fan base. Real talk. I know a lot of Philly fans do not want to see their team basically um, um, have a new stadium in a new stadium in Jersey, but still call themselves Philadelphia 76ers. 76. I know that. I know. I know they don't want that. They don't want that. I don't want that for real. Real talk, man. For real. Trust me, trust me, man. Trust me. For you to, for, for you to want to know how, how, how it is when uh, you have your own team, but it's another state. State. Trust me. Giants fans, Giants fans, and Jets fans know, know how that feels. Trust me. Uh-uh. Hell no. Uh-uh. But I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe the owner coach could be using this as a scare tactic, basically. What not? Because um, you know how liberal what not um, the, mayor, the mayor of New Jersey, the, the, mayor, I'm sorry, the mayor of Philadelphia is. He could be using it as a scare tactic. Because remember... Teams have done this before, like for instance, like for instance, um, my man, my man who owns the, the under the Patriots, they did the remember what they remember what they did remember what they did to um Connecticut, right? Remember what they, they Connecticut? Oh oh oh, we're gonna be a Patriot. Oh oh, um, we can move we can move the Patriots Patriots to Connecticut, blah blah blah, over there Hartford, blah blah blah. We get everything all set to go. Then, uh, no, what? Uh, sorry, we're gonna stay. Sorry, we're gonna stay. Um, messages messages said bye, boom deuces. A lot of these, a lot of these owners use this basically. Exactly, New Jersey 76ers. You're right, Wavy. You might as well call them New. You might as well call them New Jersey 76ers if they're gonna move to New Jersey. You're right. If you if Philly gonna move to New Jersey, you might as well call them New Jersey 76ers. You might as well. Might as well for real. And I'm being honest. It's looking. To be honest. Remember, it's looking more and more. Again, this is looking more and more likely because remember because Jersey got an enticing offer. It really does. Like I said earlier, like I said earlier, they already got the land. The, the training facility is in Camden, New Jersey. It's, it's Jersey they, they, they practice in Jersey anyway. In Camden, they practice there anyway, for real. Three, a $400 million tax credit. How the, how the hell Philly and Pennsylvania are going to match that? A $400 million tax credit. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> for the little tax credit, for real. I don't know how they're gonna match that. Again, I would definitely keep you posted on this. For real, definitely keep you posted. But man, I mean, Jesus, man. I don't. Again, I don't want. I don't. I don't want, I, hey, I don't want to go. I don't want to go for real. That's that's just me, basically. That's just me, basically. I don't want to go, basically. I really don't, for real. I really don't. Also, what not? Hey, remember what I reported yesterday? What not? We reported yesterday basically about um about Brandon Ingram basically. Yo, he's gone. Yo, he he, he made it official basically. He wants he wants out basically. Uh, he, he he wants out basically. He wants out basically. A corner reports basically. A corner reports basically. He reports he wants out of um he he wants he wants out of the Pelicans. He wants out of the Pelicans basically. He wants out. Basically, the Pelicans may the Pelicans may try to trade between now and trade deadline. Hopefully, the Pelicans do Pe Pelicans um do do able trade do do able trade him one now because he said basically, hey what up hey hey what up homie, hey, 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 how's it going? He did say basically this reason why he said Brendan Ingram said why should I be at a place where um, I'm not wanted? Well, what's up? Not man, not man. Should have went out doing my podcast. Man, Brendan Ingram did say basically, um, why should I be in a place where I'm not wanted and where I don't blame Brendan Ingram? I'll be honest with you, a lot, of, a lot of teams that can use Brendan Ingram right now, basically, lots of people that, that can use him. Lakers, for instance, which haven't done nothing this offseason, could could um use him basically, could use Brendan Ingram basically. But I guarantee you, when the other teams are going to try and trade for him, for real. I think I really are gonna try to trade for him. He is making official basically. He said on the page that he wants out. He really wants out. He really, he really wants out of um no one is basically. It's a hey, it sucks. It sucks, but it is. But hey, but hey, but but hey, hey, I'm I'm finally happy. What not? I mean, I don't know what it is with players and numbers. I mean, me when I played basketball when I was in high school, I didn't care what number I wore. I didn't care. Nah, man. Le nah, nah, hell, nah, man. I don't think um, I don't think LeBron's son's gonna be good as Bronny. I don't think LeBron's son is good, man. I don't think so. 
I don't. Uh, he, I, I was watching him play during the summer league. Summer league. LeBron's such good. He's good at playing defense and rebounding, but but he can't shoot a jump shot to save his life. You saw players throughout the entire summer league to step back and just let him shoot open jump shots again, break it, break it, break it. He can play defense. I give him that. He can rebound. Re re yeah, he can do that. Yes, but he can't shoot a J to save his life. I'm happy to send him down to D. I'm, I'm happy to send him down to the G League, basically whatnot. Um, for a while, I'm happy. And plus, and plus, and plus, also the chemistry the Lakers is all jacked up. Well, not because of that, man. Because they're drafting LeBron James' son. Because a lot, there's been some players who came up at least of. At least of, uh, at least I'm saying basically when uh, how how how, how um, the um, team is Kaden Walker, LeBron's son, how um, everything how uh, the design of plays for LeBron's and LeBron's son only. Basically, how LeBron's son basically is messed up the chemistry and whatnot of, of the basketball team, and that's something you don't want to mess up the chemistry of a basketball team. Because once you could once that breaks down, that's it. That's it. That's it. Your team is your team is just done. Your team is. Just, it could fall apart for real. The show chemistry is important. Look at my Knicks. My look at my Knicks, man. Hey, chemistry over there. Chemistry over there, man. Woo. Mm. For real, but um, LeBron. LeBron says, man, he's. I need to be a good basketball player for real. I need to play for real. For real. Also, um, also, Kelly Johnson said he will give up, give up the number three, the number three number of whatnot, and give it to um. And, and, and I'll give it to Chris Paul basically when I say he will wear he will wear number zero as he wore during the G League basically. So him so so him and that beef with Chris Paul is finally over with. I don't know why I play the beefing over numbers, man. Neither number. I, I, I remember. I guess like, like I said, I remember when I played basketball. When I played basketball when I was in um, middle school and high school. I didn't give a damn what number I wore. I didn't. I didn't. I would just, I would I would, I would just have to be on the damn team for real. Even when I played football. I did not give a damn what number I wore. I was just happy I'm on the damn team. For real, real talk. But I guess some people, some people basically, they care about that number. They, they, they care about the number they wear, basically. And, and um, and, and hey, they, they do, man. For real, me personally, I never, I never give a, I never gave a crap, baby. I never gave a crap, but, um, never gave a crap, but, um, but hey, man, for this. Also, remember, remember again, more stuff came out, and more more stuff came out about what I said yesterday. Remember how important yesterday, how um, Evan Fournier basically, how um, he um, he decided to play, he decided to play over there in Europe. He was offered a contract. Evan Fournier turned down, turned down an offer from the Washington Wizards. This is what he said. This is what he says, and I, this is what this is what he says basically. I mean, what he says. Evan Fournier says. He turned down an offer from the Washington Wizards because he had no interest in playing for a losing team and he decided to go overseas. First of all, who the hell is you to say you won't play for a losing team? Who the f you? You ain't you ain't that good. You ain't that good basketball player. You stunk when you was on the you stunk you stunk when you was on the Detroit. Basically, yeah, you did play, yeah, you did do a little bit. Yeah, you was. A little bit good, what not in the Olympics? That I would say. You play, because you play for France. You play a little bit good. That I would say yes. But in the NBA was was garbage, garbage. Who do you to say we can play for a losing team, man? What the? F I'm happy he's overseas for real. If y'all hey, think I think I'm lying, basically one night. Here it is, basically for real. Here it is, basically. Here it is, here it is right here, basically. I will, I, I, I will be, I will be patient. I. I I will be patient. I will be. Uh, blah, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will be um um posting it one on my um Instagram. I'll be posting it on my um on my uh, I'm sorry on my YouTube uh, on my YouTube show. Especially uh, on my uh, on my TikTok account. Basically, I will I will be posting it. I will be posting it then. Basically, but um, I won't play for a losing team, man. I mean. I mean, he has. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know for. Real. I really don't know for real. I really. I just. I just. I just. I just. I mean, for, I, I mean. I mean. I mean for him, basically, to say that for. Real. I mean, I don't know why he basically. I don't know why he. I don't know why he would basically say that. Basically, I don't know. Basically, I don't know for. Real. Also, another basketball player is planning on playing this year, and and they may. It's already rumors that um. He may, they, they, he may get traded. Basically, whatnot is 
Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball hasn't played since January, hasn't played since January 15th of 2022. I mean, dang, he hasn't played in 2022, he hasn't played in two years. <coughs> he had an injury, he had an injury basically where I'm not going to front most people don't come back from. Most people don't come back from, basically. Yeah, some people tell him why not his career should be done, career should be over, but hey, I give him all the credit in the world for coming back. He may be playing this upcoming season. Basically, I give him mad credit in the world. The great world of what he did to fight back. He had all them surgeries, experimental surgeries, basically, and he's back, he's back on the court. Now this rumor's going around that he may get traded, whatnot. He may get traded once he may get traded to, basically, is the Lakers. Which I don't think the Lakers are gonna trade for him. I really don't. I I I don't think so. And plus, honestly, I don't think any team is gonna trade for him until they see how good he is on the court. I'm not gonna front. I know the Bulls are rebuilt. They want to rebuild, basically whatnot, and they're mad that and, and they're mad, basically whatnot. He he picked up his player option, but that's what hey, that's when his contract. He, he 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 can't do it. That's his right to do it for real, for real. But but for real, I for for real, hey. No team is going to trade for him. Why wasn't no team, no team, no team going to trade for him? And the main reason why no team is going to trade for him, basically, whatnot, is 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 uh, basically because um, basically because no one knows how he's going to be on the court. You was gone for two years, two years. You just coming back. You, you just coming. You may be coming. You may be back later on this year or at some point during the regular season, basically. Basically, whatnot. So, I. It's, no one knows how you. No one knows how you are um, on the court for real, for real. No one knows how you are on the court. No one knows how you are on the basketball court, basically. And and and, and, and so when I don't see nobody trade for him, whatnot this year, this season anyway. Maybe during the off season, and so and if nobody don't, his career is done. Career is done. At least you can say. At least you can say he somewhat played. As if anybody want to give him a shot, basically, uh, um, after this upcoming season, for real. I'm be honest with you, man. Hey. I think this season is probably going to be his last one, probably period. Basically, if he ever does get on the court and play, for real. But I would but, 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 but I, I, I say this though, I would say this though, basically, for real. I give him credit for coming back. If he does come back, if he does come back, basically, whatnot, he should be, he should be, basically, whatnot, um, he should be, basically, whatnot, um, he really should be, basically, whatnot, um, six, he should be, basically, whatnot, comeback player of the year. I'll be honest with you. He should be comeback player of the year. I hope to play player of the year. Basically, he really should be, and um, and, um, he would deserve to be comeback player of the year. Basically, he would deserve it the, uh, the way he went through and everything. Most most people, once you injure that part of that knee, you're done. But hey, but hey, he deserves to be comeback player of the year if he does deserve to comeback player of the year. All right, switching so gears here to NFL. I mean. <clears throat> I mean, the game, the game is gonna be tomorrow in Brazil. So far, it's still happening, even though basically you got everybody, including members of the federal government, is asking basically what not um the NFL to terminate this game in Brazil and move and move and move up to the United States for real because of because of the unrest basically in Brazil, a lot of unrest in Brazil, crime is crime is at all time high. I mean. It's, I mean, it's, it's just, mmm, it's bad. It's, 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 it's just bad over there. It really is. But again, hey, NFL cares about money. And the game's still going. Even though Brazil government says they're taking extreme security measures as concerns grow ahead of the Packers Friday night, Friday night game. I mean, shh, you're putting players risk out there for money. For money. For freaking money. But hey. But hey, this, hey, hey, I don't care if I get suspended for saying this, but hey, this is Roger Goodell. That's all he cares about. It's, it's all he cares about is money, for real. That's really, that's, that's, that, that's, really, that's, really, that's really all he cares about is, 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 is basically money, basically. And, and hopefully one of our players are safe down there, man, for real. Be safe down there for that game, man, for real. That game, it sucks, though. You don't be able to watch it on Peacock. I'm sorry. You don't want to watch that game. You only watch that game on Peacock. That's it. Again, like hey, like I said in the previous podcast, man, a lot of these sports games are now going to be on streaming services. And if you don't got streaming service, you won't be able to watch certain sports games, man. For real, I know that sucks, but that's the way it is now. See, this NBA season, 
Yes, you can have some games on um, TNT, TNT, because it'll be last year for that. But after this upcoming NBA season, you're going to have games on Peacock. You're going to have games on Amazon. You're going to have games on Netflix, for real. Yes, for real. Basically, after this upcoming NBA season, if you don't have a streaming service, certain NBA games you will not be able to watch. I know that sucks, but that's the way it is now. Hey, hey, like I was talking with uh, one, one of my patients, they even said it. Uh, they can't afford some of these streaming services, which I, which I know they can't. They can't. And a lot of them, a lot of them is raising, raising, a lot of them is raising their prices up. Like, like, they damn. Like, damn, man, for real. But hey, but hey. But hey, a lot of these live streaming services, they got money. They got a lot of money to buy rights. They need to buy my rights. Like, for instance, NBC paid, NBC, I believe, paid what? 2.2.5, 2.5, or um, 3, or um, or um, $3 million, basically, or $3 million, basically, whatnot, for um, for um, NBA rights. Severely outbidded what now Warner Brothers, which 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 didn't have that. I mean, you do you do got billions billions of dollars, man. But hey, I know that sucks, man. It is what it is. What it is. Also, uh, hey, also back when I was talking about again. I apologize. Um, I better apologize. Hey, NFL come. Hey, hey, week one tonight. NFL NFL games tonight. We're not Chiefs Ravens. We're not. I believe that's going to be on NBC. Basically, you should be able to watch that on regular TV. NBC. For real, hey, NBC, as, as gum, I'm happy. That's going to be on regular TV, for real. But um, tomorrow's game, nah, tomorrow's game, going to be streaming service, homie. You're going to be streaming service, and that sucks, for real. Also, also basically, in the NFL, basically, um, Patrick, Patrick Certain became NFL's highest paid defensive back, defensive back, agreed to $96 million extension with the Broncos. That's what's up. We got ninety-six million dollars extension with the Broncos, man. For real, hey, hey, that's what's up. Every, every that's what's up. Hey, hey, I respect that for real. I respect that Broncos, hey, Broncos needed Broncos need to secure him for real. They really do need it to um to um secure him. Honestly, honestly, real talk for real. <coughs> also coming back this coming back basically this Sunday, I give this kid all the credit in the world for coming back to the NFL. I mean, after what he went through, I would have been, I would have scared, I would have been traumatized. Remember that Buffalo Bills game where do CPR, CPR to do, um, it's CPR to do basically. But do this, yes. Damar Hamlin is is playing. He's been playing his first game since that incident this Sunday. I give this kid all the credit in the world. I mean, they had to perform CPR on the field, on the freaking field. CPR on the field with the what's the names and everything, man. I mean, shh, that was scary. That that really was that really that really was scary. Even hey, I work in the medical field. I, I, I'm like, damn. You have that's why to this day I still say, I think the NFL got it right and canceled the rest of that game. They got it right and canceled the rest of that game. You uh, you can't play after that. You can't play after that for real. And I'm happy he's I'm, I'm happy he's he's um playing his first game, basically since that incident this Sunday, man. I know it's taking a lot for him to come back, a lot for him to come back. That psychological thing and everything. I mean, it's trust me, it's gonna take a lot for him to come back. I don't know, y'all. Some of y'all, some of y'all don't know, man. When you um right there near death, man, for real, you come back and this and you trying to get your life back together, trying to like get back in routine. It's tough, man. It's tough. Especially, especially coming from where he went from, when you're near death, that's tough. It really is. But hey, I give him all the credit in the world. Hey, happy, happy to see him back, man. For real, this Sunday, hey, 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 Demar Hamlin, man. For real, Demar Hamlin, for real. Happy to see him come back, man. For real, that that I will be posted on my account. For real, happy to see my man, Demar Hamlin, Demar Hamlin coming back. For real, honestly, honestly, for real. Hey, 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 this, what not, hey, hey, this, by all this, basically, what not, there was some baseball games, hey, 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 there was some baseball games, basically, the season's starting to, the season's starting to dwindle down, basically, and, yo, it's getting, yo, it's getting, it's getting tight, yo, it's getting, it's getting tight, it's getting tight, for instance, yeah, the Diamondbacks beat the Giants 6-4, to four, much needed win by the Diamondbacks, for real, Diamondbacks needed, needed that win, Mariners beat Oakland 16-3, to three. woo, Jesus Christ, you got the Padres beat the Tigers six to five. 
Angels beat the Dodgers 10-1. to 1. Jesus, come on, L.A., man. Damn. Now, this is sad. Rangers beat the Yankees 10-6. to 6. This is what I've been saying about the Yankees. I've been saying this all season long. Some people are saying, Sean, 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 you know what you're talking about. Just don't listen to Sean, what are you talking about? Like I've always said, let me say it clearly. Yankees, 1 through 9. Best hitters in baseball. They do, yes. 1 through 9. They can hit. They got the best hitting, best offense in baseball. It's not about your hitting, it's about your pitching. Yes, you can score runs. You can score a lot of runs, but. They're giving up just as many runs they score. Remember the they score? They're giving up just as many and then some. The pitching for the New York Yankees, real talk, is trash. It is. And it's going to hurt them in the playoffs. It's really going to hurt them in the playoffs. Here, usually when you score six runs, you're winning. You're winning the baseball game. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care who you're playing against. When you score six runs, you, you're playing. But it's hard to do that. When your um pitching when your pitching can't do their job and you're giving them ten runs, ten runs, Raiders beat the Yankees ten to six. The pitching failed, failed miserably. I mean, damn. How you expect to win baseball games and your pitching is giving up, giving up ten runs, man? How? And it's not fair, it's not fair to your hitters like Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, where you tell them, oh, come on, dog, we need you to score 12 runs. It ain't fair to them. For real. Because, because your pitching ain't doing their damn job. I blame, again, I blame Brian Cashman of the young kind of general manager of the New York Yankees. For real. I'll be honest with you. If the Yankees get bumped in the playoffs, they play, get play, 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 if they'll fire Brian Cashman, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even a Yankee fan. I'm saying. I'm not even a Yankee fan. I'm saying this. This is unacceptable, for real. I know. Hey, hey, hey. I know it's off season. I know they want to resign Juan Soto. We try to resign Juan Soto, but my take: focus on pitching. Get some damn pitch down. Get into the pitch down there in the Bronx, for real. I mean, Jesus, man. You got the Royals beat Cleveland four to one. Mmm. They yo yo. They be going back and forth. You got Cleveland. You got sorry. You got the Cardinals beat the Brewers three to two. You got the Cubs beat the Pirates twelve nothing. The Braves beat the Rockies five to two, and the Mets beat the Red Sox eight to three. <laughs> Braves are winning. I mean, the Braves are winning, man. They, they the Mets won their seventh game in a row, trying to keep pace and whatnot with the Atlanta Braves because again, the Mets the Mets are a half a game. A half a game. And the Braves know we can't they cannot lose because the Mets are hot right now. The Mets are hot. The Mets are hot and, and one of the best players when I is is on the IL. And the Mets are hot. And when the players are on the IL. For real, for real. I mean, you got the Rays beat the you got the Rays beat the twins nine to four. You got the Reds beat the Astros twelve to five. Oh Astros, man. Come on, man. And you got the Marlins beat the Nationals four to three. Oh, the White Sox actually won the game. The White Sox beat the Orioles eight to one. It's about damn time. And the um and and the Phillies beat the Blue Jays four to two. But here's what sucks though. Bruce Harper exited the, exits the game basically after getting hit by a pitch. Hopefully, hopefully he's okay. He's all right because trust me, Philly gonna need him one in the playoff. Real talk, Philly is gonna need him basically basically in the playoff in the playoffs for real. Hey, for those of you who don't want to watch football tonight, which I don't know who don't want to watch football, but those of you who don't want to watch football, there is some, hey, 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 there is some baseball, hey, there is some baseball today, for real. Hey, there is some baseball today, there is some baseball today, um, baseball today for your local teams. The Mets, the Mets and the Yankees, basically, and Red Sox have the day off. But they have good, they have good, which again, which is, again, have good, which is smart, basically. And I said again, I said again, hey, 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 today's first day, basically, NFL. That game is going to be on um, NBC, basically, as at 820. That's at 820, man. That's going to be, hmm. Can't wait. Ravens, Chiefs. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. I got Chiefs in this game. I got, I got, I got Chiefs in this game. I like Baltimore. I really do like B more. But I got the Chiefs in this game. I really, really do. Got, I really do, for real. 
Honestly, man, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm picking the Chiefs. I don't know about y'all, but I'm picking the Chiefs in this game for real. Yeah, tomorrow the game is still on. That's gonna be on Peacock. That's gonna be on Peacock. Eight fifteen. Package Eagles. Package Eagles in Brazil, basically. They get the game on Sunday, basically. And the Sunday night football game is Rams Lions. That should be good. Sunday night football game, Rams Lions, basically. Or NBC. And um, Monday night football. Get this. Those of you who live basically up in the tri state area, basically, um, you will be able to watch the Monday night football game. If you have if you if you have direct TV, I'm sorry. You won't be able to. But if you if that, you won't be able to win that because again, direct TV and um and, and, and Disney are still beating. But if you have any but those of you who do have ABC basically, uh ABC that's that's not in direct TV's basically and the, that's not direct TV's basically um Service basically, you'll be able to watch the Jets game or not because that will be on ABC basically. Because again, it's the Jets, you know, New York Jets, everybody in the tri state area will be able to watch on ABC, which is which, 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 which what's up, which, which, which what's up, Jets and Niners, which, which is what's up. But I'm gonna say this those of you who have direct TV, you might not be able to watch it. That's, I know that sucks, but hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, it is what it is for real. It, it, it is what it is for real. Also, 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 uh, also switching gears here to um, video games. Also, also switching gears to video games, man. I mean, hey, I guess it's really official, basically. Um, Star Wars Outlaws. I mean, it's a flop. That game just just reports that eighty about eighty percent of that game. Was made using basically um, AI. Also in that game, basically, I remember after that game, they even said, "When you're on the speeders, you can't shoot." I'm like, even in the Star Wars movies, you go, clack, 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 clack. you see that in all the Star Wars movies, and you can't even do that. I mean, I mean, I mean, and top that off in the beginning. People stop. People didn't want to play it because in the beginning, those who pulled those early access had to restart their games over again. Now you tell a person who's put four or five hours in the beginning of this game, you did a patch and you say, "I'm sorry, you got to delete your save and start all over." They're gonna trade that game in. They're not gonna play it. They're just not. They're just not gonna play it. They're gonna want to play that game. I had to put four or five hours in basically. They tell them, oh, "I'm sorry, you got to delete your save, whatnot." For this patch to work to fix the problems we should have fixed earlier, basically, people, hey, people, people, people are not gonna play, it, and then people are gonna, people are gonna tell other people like me, and people tell me like me, ah, oh, don't buy that game. The game is trash. Don't buy the game. The game is trash. All right, cool. I ain't buying. It, I ain't buying it. Or if I do buy it, I'll wait till um, um June next year. Oh, so I lost ten bucks. Okay, <clears throat> bam, then, then yeah, that's why the stock is plummeting. And they're banking on right, and Ubisoft said they're going to bank on, make on Assassin's Creed Shadows being a success. And that's not happening because you already made mistakes in that game already. And top that off, you're beefing with the country of Japan on how you're using the Black Samurai, regular Black Samurai Yosuke. If I say his name wrong, I apologize. I highly apologize. Yosuke, the Black Samurai, on how you how you portrayed him in the game, basically. Has pissed off the country of Japan. Literally pissed them off. Literally, you got the whole country boycotting, boycotting Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yes, yes. Even though the person, I'm happy. I'm happy. What not? Um, you got Black Samurai in there. Yes, because it was Black Samurai. Yes, they was. Don't blame me. Look it up. But the way they portraying them, the way I heard they portraying them in this game, basically, has pissed off the country of Japan. And you, and you know. And rumor has it that they're using a lot of woke stuff basically in this game. Basically, yes, I woke stuff and they're pissed off the country of Japan and they're, mmm. I mean, mmm, 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 mmm. I mean, damn. I mean, damn. I thought, I mean, damn. I mean, this is going to be a bad year for Ubisoft. You know what? I bl hey, 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 I blame them. I blame them for real. I really do. I really, really, really. Really, really do blame them for real, honestly. I honestly really, really do for real. For real, I mean, again, here are two good games that could have been massive hits 
and you screwed them up. And you screwed them up for real. And you screwed them up. And you severely, severely screwed them up for real. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, 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 this right here, I, I will be posting one also on my TikTok account, Sean Green 80, basically. Those of you who are wondering about the McDonald's whatnot on the United program, it won't be here in the United States, no. Everywhere else, yes, but the United States, here's why. McDonald's Monopoly, McDonald's, McDonald's Monopoly is canceled in the U.S. after FBI scandal dubbed it danger to the public health. Yes, danger to the public health, basically, which means you won't be able to see it. Those who are playing the Monopoly game, I'm sorry, you can't play here in the United States. You play, if if you're in other countries like other countries, yeah, United States, uh uh, uh, sorry. Hey, hey, I'm sorry for real. Also, also those who also there's a patch coming up basically went out for Man 25 basically. This new patch basically is basically what it is is update. This is what the patch details. Man, uh, um, update enhances teams playbooks basically. Basically, what is going to update. Uh, of the all NFL teams playbooks, basically, basically, I guess, I guess, I'm guessing basically, it's gonna add more sorts of play, more, basically, be, be more, how can I put it, more of a authentic playbook, basically. When I said since again, season's coming up, basically, season coming up, you know, got some teams, whatnot, probably added some plays, took away some play of the playbook, and Madden just want to, I guess, EA just want to update that, which I have no problem with that for real. Fixing animations and bugs for a better gameplay experience. Yes, the game has been buggy. It really has, for real. We yeah, for real. And revamp passing mechanics. Passing mechanics provide more position and control. Position and control. Thank you, because that's one thing people have been complaining about. Catering, catering to player feedback. Upgrades to superstar mode. Superstar, superstar mode. Mm. Online H2H ranked. And visual elements show EA's effort. And, and, um, also... Updates and visual elements, basically. That's 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 basically coming out. That's basically coming up on the new um, basically on the new um, patch, basically, on new patches, basically for Madden for real. Also, basically, what not um coming, basically, whatever for uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, that's been missing in nine years. It has, I guess, they're doing this, basically, whatnot. If you can add this, then you can cut some of the stuff out that's pissing the people off in Japan. Up in Japan for real, they're bringing back basically double assassinations. It's has to create shadows, basically. I guess one of the playable characters, basically, is able to is able to do, is able to do um double is able to do basically double assassinations, which has been seen in a while, for real. For for you know, see, you, you, you remember back in the day when I did um has to Brotherhood, Syndicate, all that. If 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 you got the um stop hand blade, you go like this, cling cling cling, or if I'm looking at you down, I'm really down below, I can jump on you and go ah, cling cling cling. Like that, which hasn't really been seen in a long time in Assassin's Creed, but they're but they um, but they but they're bringing those back, which is good. I'm gonna say this if you can bring that back, you put that back in the game, why can't you take out some of the woke stuff that's that's pissed off the country Japan? One night that the people the country Japan is saying, I want all y'all to ban this game, I'm the um, like boycott this game for real. I mean, shh, hey, I don't know. Hey, thank you listen to my podcast. Podcast available. Where we get your podcast? On Poppy, Spotify, most of Apple Podcasts, most of iHeartRadio, Art Radio. Hey, hello to my hello to my people, people over there on TikTok. Let me know if you ever want me to do a live, live on TikTok, live TikTok show. All right, I'm live right now. I'm Instagram, I'm, I'm on Instagram page Sean Sean forty four seventy six. I'm also live on my YouTube page. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'm also live basically. On on my Twitch account, Sean Green, Sean Green eight on one word. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Hey, and hey, week, hey, football starts today, baby. Football starts today, baby. Enjoy, enjoy the football game. I got I I got the Chiefs over. I got the Chiefs over the um Baltimore Ravens today. Hey, I don't care. Chiefs will beat Baltimore. Be, Chiefs will beat Baltimore tonight. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for listening. Thank thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day. God bless.